What's up, everybody? Welcome to HPEX 310, and today we're talking about nutrition. My name is Fee, this is Jesse. Say hi to yourself real quick. The camera man, turn it over. Oh. Oh, perfect. <laughs> All right, and we're doing nutrition today, and she's gonna explain why nutrition is important. Okay, so nutrition really affects your health. Um, your food choices affect how you feel. Good nutrition is a leading part of healthy lifestyle, and good nutrition maintains healthy weight, reduces risk factors of chronic diseases, and overall promotes good health. All right, and I'm gonna talk about the impacts of nutrition. So in America, 66% of Americans, or 66% of adults are overweight in the US, and 33% of children are obese. And if you look unhealthy or consider overweight or poor diet, you should consider going on a healthy meal plan or a healthy nutrition goal. Because as you can tell, as Americans, we eat junk food all the time. You can see it all around us, and there's barely any healthy options. So it's important to establish a good dietary plan at a young age so you're able to progress in the future and have live a healthier lifestyle. All right, let's go. Let's find someone to talk about nutrition. This is totally unscripted, so I don't know anyone here just because it's five on a Friday. We're in the basement of the library. Cabal. <laughs> hashtag bed bugs. Hashtag let's get it on. I wondering if you guys can spare like two minutes of your time and just help us out with this free project real quick. Sure. Sure. Perfect. Oh. Here, just read one of these tips. Sorry, I'm tired. Basically, yeah, when you're you gonna this. choose something that you think you'd most utilize and like put into like your daily lifestyle with nutrition, mm -hmm. something that you probably don't do right now that you want to start doing as well. Probably drinking more water because I don't. Um, what is this? Then, now you're lying to the camera. You're already this drinking. is the most water I've had in a day. <laughs> this is and I healthy. Only woke up We're gonna drink yeah. more water for her. Yeah. Um, and then eating, cooking more meals at home because it's probably healthier than eating out. I usually try to cook at home, but like I need to make sure that like I'm always cooking at home. So like definitely want to try to prepare more of my meals ahead of time. And I just need to get back on like drinking like at least like four liters of water a day. I have not been on that recently. Anything you like to say? Um, yeah, same with like cooking meals at home. I think it gives like more of a control and you know exactly what you're putting into your body. And that goes along with like the right amount of calories and how active you are. So just like going to the gym more and working out. Hello you guys, I'm so sorry to bother. My name is Fido and we're doing a group project for HPEX 310. Now I'm just wondering if you guys could just read some tips and think which one y'all think is the best one for nutrition. Oh, okay. Like sure. utilizing in your daily life and like adding to your nutrition. Drink plenty of water. I mean, the easiest one is to like drink water. I mean, drink plenty of water. Uh, anything but to drink more water because everyone yeah, said that so far. Uh, Personally, I like to drink plenty of water. And I can see you're already eating. Is that, um, Roots? Yeah, it's right. Roots, you're yeah. already a healthy yeah. individual, so if you just read this brochure and read the tips out loud and see which one you like the most. Prepare more of your own meals. Do you cook right now? Uh, I do sometimes when I have time. Yeah. You live in a dorm? You live in an apartment? Apartment. Okay, that's cool. That's really awesome. Awesome. Eat the right amount of calories for how active you are. Yeah, yeah. awesome. There you go. Definitely. If you would ask me, I'd think, um, Preparing more of your own meals, cooking at home lets you take control of what you eat. So I think it's really important, you know, if you like, <clears throat> you know, it's your choice first of all, like sure. what you want to like um, cook, but you also want to know like what kind of nutrition that yeah. you're cooking with. Then it's pretty much, yeah, again, it's pretty much your choice. You have the freedom, but also at the same time, you have to like um, so take care of yourself. Exactly. Yeah. So you live in dorms right now, or are you like uh, Yeah, I'm a freshman, I okay, live in dorms. So it's hard for you to like prepare your own meals, I'm yeah. assuming. Yeah, pretty much, just living with a fridge and a microwave. <laughs> but you can prepare for next year. Of course. Like, knowing well, that that's what you want to do. Oh yeah, I'm looking well, forward to it. Of course, well I appreciate your time, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. No problem. Of course, thank you. nice meeting you. Yeah, easy. All right. Alrighty. All right. And so as you guys can tell, the main tips that were utilized today were just Drinking yep. water. <laughs> and drinking water and prepare your own meals. However, that may seem hard. However, if you just get a giant water bottle, you'd be able to drink every single day. If you prep your meals every Sunday morning and have it in like a container, it'd be easy for you to prep your meals and check your calories on my fitness pal. And today was a really great time. And I hope HPEX 310, this class, you guys can experience a healthier and more nutrition lifestyle. Follow me, we got, I found another We're gonna talk about nutrition over here. Hey, sorry about that. Are you busy right now? Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>